Hey, this is Steven from TechMaker.tv. This is building a link shortener with Ruby on Rails 6 part 9. In this video, I just want to quickly start setting up some styles, actually, because I want this to look a little bit more like a real app uh, as we go forward. So I'm just going to go ahead and start my server. And um, we will open up our uh, application.html. And in here, I'm just going to actually put a link tag. And I'm going to link to a bootstrap for CDN. And so I'm just going to bring in the styles. We're not going to make use of any of the JavaScript or anything. So we can just uh, go ahead and bring that in right here in our application uh, layout file. Okay, so let's be sure to save that. And then let's go over to our browser and go to localhost 3000. And you can see now that the font and everything actually looks a little bit different. So it's already got the bootstrap styles in there. Let's rearrange a few things here. Okay. That's a little bit better. Okay, so while we're here, let's go ahead and change this style sheet link tag to a style sheet pack tag. And then let's open up our JavaScripts folder over here, make a new directory. And we'll call this uh, style sheets. And then inside of here, let's create a new file application.scss. And then inside of packs in our application.js, we can just come down here and say import. And then we'll do uh, change up to the previous directory, directory slash style sheets slash application.scss. And then inside of here, let's put a body tag and let's change the background color to something like a light gray just to make sure this is working. So let's come over here and let's refresh and it'll take a second because it's going to recompile all of that. And you can see our background color changes. So now I've got our uh, style sheet hooked up. Okay, so let's open up our home index file. And let's go ahead and just knock out these first two lines. Let's set up a container. So we'll say div class container. And um, I'm assuming you have a little bit of background knowledge on Bootstrap. Otherwise, um, this will be new, but you know it's pretty easy. So you can just follow along. So I'll add a class container. Then inside of here, I'm going to add a uh, div. And I'm going to give it a class of card. And I'm going to give the... Actually, what I'm going to do is inside of container directly, I'm going to create a class of p-5, which is padding 5, because I want to kind of bump this in from the edges a little bit. Then I'm going to create a card. Then I'm going to say div card body. Then inside of here, we're going to cut and paste our form. And then just under the form, we need to add short link. Because remember, we're we're paste or not pasting. We're uh, populating this short link from the JavaScript. So let's just refresh and see what this looks like. So now we just have this uh, box here in the middle. I'm going to add some text above. I'm going to put uh, h4 with class equals card title. For the text, I'm just going to say enter a URL to shorten, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and like kind of change up this a little bit so we get all this to quit text wrapping okay that's a little bit big let's make that an h5 and see what that looks like that's okay i guess we'll worry about the styles a little bit more later maybe um i'm getting another idea actually so card body i think what i might want to do is bring the short link outside of the card body then in here, we're going to have this say, um, first of all, we want to have a class of form control, which is going to give it some default bootstrap styles. And then I'm going to say um, placeholder, enter, uh, let's say short, enter URL to shorten. I guess that's the same text. Maybe we don't need to duplicate that. Uh, maybe that's fine. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so that makes this kind of go across the whole thing and kind of gives it some bootstrap 
uh, styles. Um, I'm just going to say enter URL here, like that. I think that looks a little bit better to have that kind of different. Then I'm going to say for the submit, instead of create link, I'm going to say generate or shorten. Let's just call it shorten. It's kind of the action that's being taken. Um, and then let's give it a class of uh, BTN, BTN primary, and then give it a margin top of three. And let's see what that looks like. Margin top is a little much. Let's make it two. Okay, that's better. Now what I want to do, so first of all, let's just test this as is and see what we have here. So we've got like HTTPS, www.google.com, and that's just sticking our link down here at the bottom. Okay, cool. So let's say we're going to leave this alone on the short link side. Um, we have down here in our links folder, this create.js.erb. And so we're, we're essentially just sticking uh, the inner HTML in here of just the, the text, basically. So the link that shorten URL. So let's, let's expand on this a little bit. So this is going to be, uh, we could do, well, let's actually do it the right way to start with. So let's uh, create a new file inside of the links directory and let's call it, um, Let's just call it link um, .html .erb. and then in here let's make a div and we'll say um, card footer and then I'm going to create a div class alert alert success and then let's see we can say um, just print out text here We'll just print out the text that we want. For some reason, my uh, whenever I type ERB tag, sometimes I lose my color coding, which is weird. I need to fix that eventually. So what I want to do now is say uh, var HTML equals, and then we'll do um, quotes, and then we'll render. We'll do J render. And then we need to render out a uh, link. And then I think we can just say text. Um, I guess I could actually change that to be link. I mean, that would make sense, right? Like link. And then say uh, the link needs to be the at link dot shorten URL. So that will now give me uh, the HTML from that file we just created and then here I just want to say inner HTML is HTML So let's go back over here because we need to change this to say link and then we can say something like shortened URL and then say link or something and then maybe um, Let's make this bold Something like that I just kind of made all of that up on the spot. Let's see if it's broken so let's go to Google. So that's, yeah, that's what I was anticipating. I mean, that looks pretty good like that. So now um, we have this just showing up down in a footer. It's in a separated area. Could probably clean up the spacing on this a little bit, but that's probably fine. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that's basically it for this episode. I wasn't wanting to do anything too fancy and I don't want to make this overly complicated on the front end, but I did want to make it look a little bit better than it was looking. Uh, and I think we did that. Um, this is a little bit more user friendly than we had it. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is go ahead and hook up the actual uh, link lookup ability. So if somebody visits this uh, local host 7C2 blah 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 link, we want to actually look up the original URL and redirect them there. So we're going to get that working in the next episode and we're going to do it um, with testing as much as we can. Um, so anyway, um, I hope you're enjoying this series. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you in the next episode.